welcome to school of civil engineering in this video i will show you that how we'll check for p delta and our previous video i have shown you that how uh, how to check for base share and if you didn't see that you can watch that the link are given below and uh, in this etap tutorial series almost i have uploaded uh, 22 videos you can watch that if you need it so let's start First of all, I'll open my created Excel file. Uh, this is my Excel file that I have created, and by using that Excel file, I'll check my p delta. So for that, we need some value, and uh, before that, I will show you about p delta. Suppose uh, they have no. Uh, suppose uh, it is a building and it that is its height. So they have no lateral force, only downward force. So in base there will be no moment but uh, if uh, they have lateral force like Q so it will create moment in base and uh, because of that lateral force the building will deflect like that and it will create um, also some lateral force force and the um, point load what are acting on the middle point of the building it will not acting now like that it will its center uh, mass of center will move some here so um, after that the building will cause crack or something so to reduce that problem um, we should design some consideration and we have to provide some consideration and uh, here by using this and uh, that tools I will do for my building and here are the data required data and now I'll open my model this is our previous model um, in this series I'm using that model for every video and from here we'll unlock that so before I'm um, doing p lock uh, p delta analysis we need some data here you can see that here we know that high total height of the building and here P I mean dead load and live load and here S3 share VX VI for earthquake load or wind load and here diaphragm mass of center so we need only that value and importance factor deflection amplification factor so from your design code you have to find out that value so um, according to my design I have considered that value is 1 and uh, the deflection amplification 4.5 uh, because of uh, I am using steel frame steel moment resist uh, sorry concrete moment resisting frame uh, now I will go to etaps and before that you have to select that value your first floor value will be first and your top floor value will be last so i'll go here so first of all i'll go edit a story modify and i'll change that name so here i'll take that as fast follower f1 sorry i have to change here f5 f4 f f5 f4 f3 f2 f1 and i will take it as one because when we will use ascending or descending it will change and everything will be same as previous ok 
when I will select that ascending or descending it will go up and it will go down yeah, otherwise um, we, you can take it here F6 but you can take here F10 because if you take here F10 it will mix up so after F9 you have to select Ace1, Ace2 like that F sorry Ace 1 Ace 1 replacing that it is the top floor okay okay after that you have to do a important things and here you have to save your file in another folder save as here make a new folder save it here and give that value sub visibility p delta check like that okay save so our building have check uh, saved there now we have to go for another data change so for here And here from here we have to take some data and uh, now we'll uh, take data for service service condition so uh, we'll take our modifier for beam 0 0.5 for column 1 for wall 1 and uh, we'll take for wall cracked 0 0.5 and for slab we'll take 0 0.5 as we have uh, take that previously so that and here go first of all we have to select beam because we'll check beam properties select beam select close now we'll go assign frame property modifier and from here we'll check our value so torsional constant it will be one one and here everything will be one on so sorry uh, here we have to change for torsional constant uh, for beam it will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 and a moment also it will be 0 0.5 and moment of finisher about to exit 0 0.5 apply then we have to select close that and again go select selected object property column select close that and uh, we'll take data for that assign frame property modifier and here every value will be one apply okay now we'll select slab select object properties we'll select floor and wall select close and we'll assign for that shell stiffness modifier and from here we have to change only bending value bending on on two two and bending on two so bending one on and here every value will be 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 and here 0 0.35 apply okay so our data have provided now we have to run the structure run it okay now we'll go have table model a structure layout a story data 
here is our stray data so from here we'll take our value so first of all we'll go here short ascending here we're seeing that our first floor in top and last floor in down so from here we'll take that both value copy go to excel we have to press it here press value here we're seeing that our value have come here we have to delete that because this value have provided previously delete that now we'll go for value p i mean all dead load and live load now close that and uh, from here after that we have to go here analyze result and from here a structure result and a story force click here and from here we'll take our data so first of all uh, we have only we have to take data for dead load live load and partition wall so uh, for that we'll go for an easy method we'll close that we'll go define here load combination and we'll add a combination dead load here live load and here partition wall and we'll give the name it p okay okay and again go here analyze result structure result s3 force and here for load for p load we'll just click here right click select p and click anywhere here only for data here only for p load so and we'll take data for p load and location we'll take here top then here um, we have to descending that so ascending that so here f1 f2 a son so from here we'll take our load p copy that go here and paste it here here our p load now we'll go for v vertical load so for that we'll go load uh, here qx okay for qx now we'll take that here a son we have to again change that for ascending and from here we'll go for vx select that copy and go here I click here and paste it as value so here and um, now we'll go for diaphragm mass of center so again go here in table first of all minus that so from here we have to go again analysis then result and then displacement and from here diaphragm center of mass double click here and we'll take our value from here uh, for load which types of load we'll take that for qx close that and we have to again ascending that ascending so from here f1 to a son and we'll take value for ux from here take value for ux copy that go here and paste it here paste as a value so we have 
collected all data we have changed that data and that data and uh, one thing this is I have done according to BNBC 2017 and uh, you have to done it according to your code so after that uh, we're seeing that here maximum um, theta are showing that value and allowable are that so it's showing no p delta if uh, that value is greater than allowable then it will show redesign or we have to consider p delta so here define from here p delta option so from here you have to select that non iterative and iterative so from here you will find your value close that and close that close, close that so that that was the procedure to check our p delta and uh, if anyone need this excel you can contact to me or you can mail me and one thing uh, this is again i'm telling that this is only for bnbc and also you can use for asce to uh, 07 05 version so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected